Hey guys, Josh here and welcome back to Story of Seasons Partners of Olive Town. I feel like it's been such a long time since we did an Olive Town stream. Because uh, we did a little bit of Olive Town during the last stream, but we played other games too. And I yeah, I feel like it's just been a little while. So yeah, hope you guys are good today. Hope you all have a pretty nice day. So what we're going to do today, um, I'm going to... Finish. So we're gonna try to finish Lovett's request. So I'm gonna take a look at where we were exactly. I'm not sure what I'm missing. Oh yeah, I remember actually. I need to grow. Yeah, I need to grow bok choy. I need to grow cabbage. I need to grow. Um. Yeah, I need to grow napa cabbage, and I need to get a ten star giant catfish. So yeah, we're gonna try to do all of that today, and we're gonna try to make it fun. I. <laughs> Happy 9k. Oh, thank you so much, Rex. Yes, we've reached 9,000 subscribers not too long ago. 10, 10 soon. 10,000 soon. That's insane. That's crazy. Um, okay, so let's see how... Um, okay, let's see how our cabbage is doing. Yeah. So, yeah, there's not much to do beside that. <laughs> also, I need to make sure I talk to the travel sprite every day to get it to level 10. And, yeah, I don't know how long this stream... Oops, wrong place. Uh, I don't know how long this stream is going to be because I don't know. <laughs> I feel like we don't have too much left to do. Uh, hi. Hi, Alisa, Lauren, Octavie, Snowy. Hope you guys are good. And yeah, I see some people asked about the update. So unfortunately, the update is not out. It's only out for the Japanese version of the game. So hopefully it won't be too long. But who knows? Maybe in a few days. I don't know. I think it's going to be maybe a few weeks. I don't know. I have no idea. Um. Okay, I think I already came here last time. Yeah, nothing interesting here. Yeah, I know a lot of people took a break from Olive Town and they were just waiting for the update before they can get back into the game. So hopefully it doesn't take too, too long. I need 1.0.5 in my life. Yeah, hopefully soon. Okay, so... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna sleep and start a new day. <laughs> yeah, I just need to get these crops to grow. Also, I need to get the giant catfish, but it's already 10.35. It only spawns from 7 to 11. So when I wake up, I'm gonna try to get a catfish. Hi, Kay. Hope you're doing well. That and the Rune Factory release date. Yeah, I know. Hopefully... Hopefully at E3, we can get some news for Rune Factory 5 during that time. Wishing you a happy belated, happy YouTube anniversary. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, yeah. If you guys missed it, last Sunday was my first, fir yeah, first year YouTube anniversary. So that was pretty fun. We played Animal Crossing and Olive Town and Rune Factory 5. So... Lots of fun stuff. It was a pretty long stream. Not too long, but longer than usual. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to get that catfish. When is Olive Town coming to mobile? That would be nice, right? But I don't think. <laughs> Even for the switch, it's there's a lot of frame rate issues and like it's not performing very very well. So I don't think the game would ver be very optimized for the switch uh, for a mobile. But there's gonna be a story of seasons mobile if you guys haven't seen it. But I think it's gonna be mostly released in China at least at first before any other markets. So. Yeah, if it ever comes out internationally, it's probably going to take a while. So, yeah, I think it spawns from 7 a.m. So I'm just going to wait, wait a few minutes. Anyone asking about the update should refer to Exceed's Twitter. They replied a couple hours ago that they're working out final details. 
I see. Yeah, hopefully sometime. I don't know. My guess is next week. Next week could be a good, uh, you know, like a good timeline. I feel like. But that <laughs> that's just my guess. But yeah, hopefully soon. Yeah, I don't think this one's gonna be a ten star fish. Yeah, eight star. I always get eight star, nine star, sometimes seven star. I never got. N never was able to get a 10 star no matter how hard I try Nah, I don't think this one's gonna be 10 star Why block that mine? I don't use the mine so I just wanted to decorate it. Um, if I don't block it, I'm gonna get random stuff spawning anyway, so... Yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to decorate the area a little bit. I always love your stream. It gets me and my mom into the games and... You're why we bought Story of Seasons. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, I'm glad you're... I see you a lot on the stream, so I'm glad you're enjoying them. And your mom too. And yeah, I'm glad I got you guys into Story of Seasons. That's good to hear. Yeah, I don't think this one's gonna be 10 star. It was a little bit too easy. Yeah, eight stars. So hopefully this <laughs> today's stream is not gonna be just me fishing for two hours. But let's see. Any of you guys were able to finish Lovett's request and do that Tum Yum Pla? That's the dish I have to make with the giant catfish. And it's just so hard. I want to play this game, but when it's all patched up, yeah. So I got a nine star, but yeah, I, I'm, I think you maybe you can get a rainbow quality dish with a nine star fish, but I was not able to do so. So I want to try with 10 star, but yeah. I feel like this one might be 10, I don't know, I've got a feeling it might be 10 star, it a, seems a little bit more difficult than the other ones, but I might be completely wrong, I don't know. Let's see. No, just 8 star. Yeah. I haven't been able to finish Lovett's last request so hard. It is. Like, the other ones are not too, too bad, but... Oops. What am I doing? What am I <laughs> doing? I'm just... I was just looking at the chat, and... I hope this was not a 10 star. I don't think it was 10 star. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Yeah, I don't think it was 10 star anyway. Um, <laughs> the uniforms are cute. Yeah, the uniforms are really cute. I'm really enjoying them. I didn't like the animal costumes too much. But, yeah, I'm liking the uniforms. Any of you guys were able to marry Felicia? So they changed her name, right? She, like, her Japanese name was always Felicia. But in the new beginning, they named her Felicity. And I think it went back to Felicia, right? But, yeah. Anybody married Felicia or Neil? I'd like to know your thoughts if anybody was able to date them and marry them. What's your fishing skill at? My fishing skill is level 9. Oh, maybe that's why. Maybe I need to level up my fishing skill. I was like, my fishing rod is Auricalcum, so that's all good. But my fishing skill is just 9. Ah, maybe that's that what that's what makes the difference. Maybe. Hi, Witchy. Hope you're well. So, okay, nine, yeah. Maybe I need to focus on that. Yeah, let's try that. So, you know what? Let's make lots of fishing nets. Yeah, why didn't I think of that earlier? Uh, let's get, yeah, let's get to um, fishing level 10. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay, so let me sell that. And I'm gonna make lots of 
fishing nets. So the giant fishing nets, which are these ones. So I need rope and I need supple wood. So that shouldn't be too bad. How did the makers change with the new update? Do we still need the hundred of them around? So basically what you can do now is that you can put 10 times more stuff in your makers. So they're going to queue. Um, yeah, so you don't have to fill them up every day, right? Uh, so it, it's a lot more efficient. So as you can see, as you can see now, I got like 52, like 90, <laughs> 90 lumber because I just filled them up. So it is a lot easier and makes everything's a little bit better. Uh, yeah, especially when you want to craft, like now I want to craft lots of fishing rods, uh, lots of fishing nets. And they take a huge amount of lumber, but it's no longer like a big deal now with that. Yeah, Ralph with no hat looks very different. I wish he would... <laughs> I wish he didn't have a hat in his regular outfit. So, alright, so we've got our wood. And now let's take our rope. And let's... Yeah, let's make as many as we can. I'm gonna make more. I'm gonna make more rope. I don't have a lot of regular grass actually. And like this. All right, so we're gonna have about 60. Yeah, exactly 60 fishing nets. So that should be pretty good. And okay, I'm making more wood. Now I'm gonna go get more grass. I, I, I think with 60 nets, I should be enough to level up my fishing skill. I'm not too, too sure. But anyway, let me take care of these makers. And then I'm gonna place the fishing nets. So I'm just gonna do uh, yeah, I'm just gonna place the fishing nets and then go to sleep and then place the fish and then pick up my fishing nets and then go to sleep and My cabbage is gonna grow at the same time. So we're gonna try to kind of speed run through this Because I don't have much else to do in my day Beside working towards this so Yeah, let's do that. So I'm gonna put this there And let's put this away Okay, I'm gonna have to make more um, guardian fish bait. Let me see what I need for that. Okay, so I think that shouldn't be too much of a problem. Okay, let me just take care of this. Hi Josh, how are you today? Hi Rachel, I'm doing pretty good. I feel like it's been a it's been a long time since I did an Olive Town stream, so I don't know why for some reason I'm feeling kind of rusty <laughs> today. I feel like I haven't streamed in so long. It's, it's not been longer than usual since I did a stream, but I'm feeling I don't know I'm feeling different today. <laughs> I don't know why, but I hope you're doing good. And okay, let's make more wool. Hi, first time catching a stream. Hi, Chloe. Hope you're doing good. I'm glad you're able to catch the stream. Welcome to the stream. All right, so let's put this away and then. So, what I was thinking so since i'm almost done with olive town i think next week um so i think today i want to finish the lovett's request and after that like and i need a few treasures for the museum but once i'm done with all of that i'm thinking i might stream a different game 
uh, because I feel like <laughs> I don't have too, too much more to do in Olive Town. Um, so I'm thinking of starting to stream Doraemon Story of Seasons maybe sometime from next week. Or I could also maybe stream Roots of Pacha. Uh, I started playing the Alpha a while ago and I think... I think it's June 7 or June 8. They're gonna be releasing um, the, an update for the Alpha. And there's gonna be, so now you can only, there's only spring in the game. There's only like the first season. Uh, but there's gonna be summer in June uh, 8. And I still have not played through the first spring yet. So I still have so much to do. So yeah, I'm thinking maybe I should play some uh, Roots of Pacha during next live stream. And also in July, Coral Island's gonna be coming out. So looking forward to that. So yeah, I think. Yeah, it's gonna be almost done for the Olive Town streams, unfortunately, but there's plenty of good stuff coming up, so yeah. Also for Coral Island, if you guys have seen, a few days ago they released an old news and they released a video with showing the character customization, character creation. It looks so good, I can't, I, I'm so excited for that game. I'm so, so, so excited. Oh yeah, I need, I, was, I wasn't sure what to do, but I need to put down my things are you planning to play this game again in english yeah yeah i said i would do that right maybe yeah maybe i should i don't know <laughs> i don't know Le let's see maybe i'm gonna have to do a poll and ask you ask what people want to see if you guys want me to go through olive town again but in english or if i should play something else so yeah, i'm probably gonna do a poll to see I'm so excited for the update. I've replayed the Roots of Pacha first season a couple times already. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, I'm still... <laughs> I've only played for like two videos. Um, and I didn't play outside of that. So I'm like on day 10 or like day 12. I'm like so early in Roots of Pacha. And yeah, super early. I just started making sun-dried tomatoes and that's... Yeah, I still have so, so much things to do. So, yeah, I need to catch up before the new update. Because I want to make a video when the new update comes out. But I need to get to summer first, right? So, um, yeah, I need to play a lot. My vote is whatever you want to play most. Oh, Lauren, thank you. <laughs> if you play in English, you could do a challenge run through different from how you play the Japanese version. Like, see if you can... Yeah... So definitely if I play in the English, I'm definitely going to try to uh, put like a fun twist or like a some kind of challenge. So either like some kind of, oops, maybe not necessarily like a speed run, like speed run, speed run. But I don't know, like trying to finish the game faster or like do like a no crop challenge. I was doing, of, I was thinking of maybe doing something like that where like. I have to go through the whole game without planting any crops. So I would need to make money with like mushrooms and fishing and other things. Uh, and try to get all the recipes also without uh, growing crops and things like that. So I was thinking of doing maybe some kind of challenge like that. If I do start an English save file. Because I don't want to go through the same. Uh, I want to play differently if I do it again, right? Because I'm not the kind of person who usually... Uh, likes to play a game twice. Usually, if I'm if I play it once, um, I'm good. So yeah, if I play it again, I'm definitely gonna do it differently. So yeah, so that's gonna be pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna check the museum just in case there's something. Oh, the museum is closed today, so. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna sell. I think there's still there's some treasure. I'm gonna keep these ones just in case. And then Okay, I'm gonna plant that. So then I should get 10 stars. So I'm gonna need I need that for the kimchi. Oh my gosh, my laptop is oh wait, 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 wait.
Okay, my my <laughs> my laptop was not plugged. It was not charging, so it was gonna die. And I unplugged my switch at the same time, so sorry about that. Um, okay, I'm back. I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so scary. Can you imagine if my laptop just turned off during the stream? It's Rune Factory, but you have to break your shipping box. My gosh, <laughs> that sounds really... Yeah. Okay, so... Let's see if that cabbage is good. Okay, eight. Yeah, I don't know if that's gonna be good enough, but let's try. Is this one ready? Yeah, it's all ready. So I'm gonna have to make more seeds of the bok choy as well, because the six star is not gonna be enough. We'll be here waiting if that happens. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I know you guys. <laughs> I know some of you will stay. Because we did have... We did have <laughs> some issues in previous streams, so I know you guys will stay. So thank you. Thank you so much for that. But yeah, because I always work. So usually whenever I use my laptop, it's always charged. It's always plugged. But... Um, I have to change whenever I finish work. Like I use a MacBook for work. I don't know why I'm planting these flowers, but um, I use a MacBook for work. And then when I stream, of course, I have my personal laptop. So always I have to change them. So I have to, anyway, I need to change them and I forgot to plug it. So yeah, that's it. Um, okay, so yeah, let's make some seeds. Eggs, bacon, grits, sausage. What's grits? I don't know if that sounds pretty good. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's about, but that sounds like something pretty delicious. Uh, okay, so let's make some seeds of... Uh, actually, I don't, need, <laughs> I don't need that much. Uh, let's just make a few seeds of that. And then let's... Top the strawberries and let's make some cabbage seeds. All right, it's pretty good. All right, so let's put stuff away and then let's go to sleep. Grits is usually made in the bathroom, from what I've tasted of it. What's what? What's grits? I'm <laughs> is like is that like a British term or is that? I don't know. I don't know what's that. Maybe <laughs> maybe it's I don't know. Um, maybe it's just a word that I don't know. Is that like potatoes? Is that like fried potatoes? Shredded hash browns. Oh, I was pretty. Oh, okay. I was pretty close. Thank you. <laughs> it was potatoes. It's a southern dish in the U.S. Oh, I see. That sounds pretty good. Everything... Usually if it's potato, it's pretty good. Pretty sure that's what we call it in Canada. I see. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, that sounds pretty good. Alright, so I'm gonna sleep. I wish mine were made from hash brown. That actually sounds good. Yeah. Sorry, I just skipped. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't feel like going to a cutscene. Um. Okay, let's go to sleep. I think I'm gonna have a the baby soon. Actually, grits are made with cornmeal. I see. Is it made with cornmeal or potato? <laughs> I see. I'm gonna have to try it. I want mackerel patties and potato patties. Mmm, that sounds pretty good too. You guys are you guys are gonna make me hungry. Usually I get hungry by the end of the stream, but I think today I'm gonna get hungry early. But that's okay. Okay, so let's All 
Uh, yeah, let's see. So I'm gonna go to the Sprite Village. I think I forgot to go yesterday. I need to get... Um, how do you call it? Zucchini. I need to get zucchini. It's like a cornmeal porridge. I see. Yeah, I don't think I've had that before. Yeah, I need to get zucchini. Let's see if they're selling some today. No, no zucchinis. Hello, Alan. I love watching your YouTube videos on this game. Just so happy to finally catch the stream. Hi, Cruel Umbron. I'm, I'm glad you were able to make it to the stream. I hope you're doing well. Okay, no zucchini today. So I'm just going to sell everything. Then I'm going to check my fish nets. I want to see how much experience that's going to give me every day. I don't need that. Okay, I want to see. So now my experience is like this. So I'm going to get all of my fish nets and we'll see how that goes. I'm just going to make just going to make some space in my bag actually. Trying to stay awake as I work with two kids. Oh my gosh, that sounds... <laughs> that sounds like a lot. Hey everyone. Hi, Besen. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining. So I'm probably... Most of this fish, I'm probably just gonna sell. Congrats on 9k, Josh. Thank you so much. Yeah, I've reached out a few days ago. That was... Feels pretty good <laughs> getting closer to 10,000. And then, yeah, 10,000 soon. <laughs> it's not, it's not gonna change anything. Like nothing special happens at 10,000, but it's still, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's gonna be pretty exciting. And then after that, the next exciting milestone I guess every 10,000 is an exciting milestone, but I guess the next very exciting one will be 100,000, but that's going to take, that's going to take a little while. That's going to take quite a bit of time. Your farm looks amazing. What year are you on in the game right now? So I'm on year four. I'm on autumn of year four. And actually it looks super messy right now because I haven't been, I've really just been neglecting my farm a lot because um, I'm just trying to finish Lovett's last cooking request and like I'm just like doing a last few things so like usually I have flowers around here it looks pretty beautiful and like usually I don't have that many random trees but now I just kind of <laughs> let myself go a little bit so it, it is a little bit embarrassing at the moment so yeah, like usually there should be flowers here. There should be like crops in my garden. There should be like flowers here around here as well. But yeah, I'm really <laughs> letting myself go a little bit right now. Year two and my farm is a mess. Yeah, my my farm was a mess for at least the first three years. It was a complete mess. It takes a while to get things in order so let's see how my ex experience changed so that's how much I got in one day which is <laughs> really not a lot so I don't think I feel like playing Rune Factory 5 <laughs> I saw that Rune Factory 5 I really, I really want to play Rune Factory 5 um, yeah, I don't know if... Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to need more fishnets. Just makers everywhere. Yeah, hopefully with the update, you're going to be able to reduce the amount of makers. My farm seems so disorganized compared to yours, and I'm only on year one in winter. Just found the leaks, and I'm slowly reorganizing my farm. Yeah. Yeah, don't be too harsh on yourself if it's the first year. Definitely your farm is going to be messy. And it takes a while to reorganize everything. Good 
So yeah, I'm just gonna put down these. Yeah, hopefully when I get to level 10 of fishing, the catfish is going to be a little bit, the giant catfish is going to be a little bit easier to catch. Is it? Is it me or the music stopped? Oh, did it just come back? I didn't do anything. I don't know if it's my earphones. Or <laughs> I don't know if it's the game or the, my earphones. But I couldn't hear the music. I think it's just me. I can hear it. Okay, if you guys can hear it, that's the most important. I think I'm gonna have to... I think I'm gonna have to invest in some new earphones. Also, quick question. Do the bamboo shoots in the game do anything? I found those not too long ago. Um, they're used for cooking, so you should keep them for cooking. They're not really, really useful for a lot of things. Uh, yeah, you don't need to hoard. Like, Just make sure you have a few in your fridge and you should be fine because they don't have too much of a purpose. Okay, so I guess... I guess that's gonna be it for today, so let me sleep. Dead fish everywhere. Yeah, I know. I wish <laughs> I wish you could have a bigger bigger bag. Because even if I were to empty my, my bag, like with all the fish nets, you can't you can't just take everything. I wasn't sure if they were an actual tree like plant. Yeah, that would have been nice if you could grow bamboo. That would be pretty cool for like decorating, but that's not the case, unfortunately. That's not the case. All right, next day. Alright, so let me check if they have zucchinis. Yeah, every day is pretty much <laughs> pretty much the same. Now, okay, let's see. Also, I can't wait for part next oh yeah they've got zucchini finally so i'm gonna buy four i'm gonna make some seeds with that yeah i can't wait for the new uh next part of the expansion pass which we should get by the end of june there's gonna be the new area and yeah hopefully the new area is gonna be the one in the mountain like the blocked off area in the mountain i don't know it's called Terracotta Oasis. Um, I feel like that mountain probably doesn't lead to an oasis. But also the last DLC area is called um, something Isle. So definitely the last one is an island. So I'm thinking the oasis is going to be the one that we get from the mountain. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. All right, so let's plant that. Do you think there will be something special with the next expansion pass? Unfortunately, with how it's been going so far with the expansion pass, it seems like we're really just getting the bare minimum. Like we're getting exactly what they say would be in the expansion pass. So there's no special like we haven't been getting anywhere, anything extra, right? So I don't think so. Unfortunately, but I would really like to have some like extra furniture or like I don't know new items to gather new shops or 
you know, something exciting like this, but I don't think... I really don't think that's gonna happen, unfortunately, so... Yeah, I wouldn't put my hopes too high for that. So, actually, yeah, I need to make... Zucchini seeds. And I think I can just sell that. And yeah, and let's check our fish nets. Anyone know when patch 1.0.5 is coming to English version? Unfortunately, no one knows yet. They've announced that they're working on it and making some progress, but there's no no dates yet. Be right back while I go feed those kids dinner. Oh yeah. Good luck with that. That sounds cool. I always forget I got the DLC stuff, so I'm always surprised by the cutscenes. Yeah. I really like the little cutscenes. Um, the all the little cutscenes with the villagers from Windswept Falls, I really enjoyed. I think they were pretty interesting. I think the expansion pass is pretty worth it as a whole. Like if you take into consideration like the six different DLC that we get, I think it's pretty pretty worth it if you see it like this. But yeah. Hey Josh, how are you doing? Hi Shalina, I hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. I wish they would do an update like 1.5 in Stardew Valley. That was really cool with the island and all the new stuff. Yeah, that would be nice to have like some kind of update with just new content. Unfortunately, I I don't think that's something that would happen. I'm not sure, but I feel like the like we're beside the DLC, we're gonna get the DLC, uh, the, like the expansion pass, and then we're gonna get like a few updates, like they've been doing so far with like bug fixes and like small improvements. But yeah, I wouldn't expect to have any new features or new areas or anything like that as a surprise. Or was it 1.6? I think it was 1.5 for Stardew Valley. But they're doing lots of updates, like even 1.4, like every every time there's lots of new stuff. Oh gosh, that's so much fish. Yeah, it's still, still gonna take a little while. Okay, so now let's place down our new fishing nets. Yeah, I want to. I feel like <laughs> I always say this every stream, but I really want to go back to Stardew Valley. Give it another, give it a try. Oh, also, guys, today. So today's June second, right? And Hoko Life just came out in uh, early access. So I don't know if you guys have seen that game. I made a video on that game like a few weeks ago, but it just came out in early access today. So if you guys don't know, it's a kind of life simulation game where you can like customize your character and then you can like create all create your own furniture from scratch. And then you can um, you can have your own house. You can do like fishing and decorate the town. And yeah, it seems like there's a lot of emphasis on like creation and customization. It looks pretty fun. But yeah. I don't know if any of you guys tried it. Unfortunately, I've been having some issues with the game. I've been playing for a little while and I was supposed to make like a review or a video of the game. But I just keep having like game breaking bugs and I can't continue. Like I make a new save file, I play for like one or two hours. And then there's some kind of bug and I can't continue and I have to restart all over. Like it's all autosave. So if there's a bug, you can't go back to your previous save file. It just saves automatically. And now every time I get out of my house, there's just like a black screen. Not in my house, but like the room I start with. You start with a little room in a bar. And every time I go out, it's just black screen. So yeah, I can't make any progress. And I went through the beginning of the game like five times and I'm just kind of fed up with it now. So I just kind of gave up. So. Yeah, I was supposed to do a review of that game, but I'm just giving up. The game looked great. Hope they had time to work on some bugs. Yeah, so far, 
I think it's a little bit less buggy than w when I first tried it, but still have not been lucky. Do you have to get the expansion pass to get the new update? No, you don't have to. The update is for everybody. Uh, just, is there more custom clothing for marriage candidates after school uniform? Um, there's also the animal costume, but that's it. There's school uniforms and animal costume for now. That sounds frustrating. It looks like it has lots of potential once they fix those bugs. Yeah, and like, yeah, it's a one person team. So it's a really small team. So I don't want to be too harsh on them. Because it's a really small team. But. Yeah. I mean just for my personal experience. Like. It was pretty much unplayable. Because I had to restart so many times. Um, so if I had paid for it. I would be a little bit frustrated maybe. Hey, look, I like Lookout Life. I don't have it yet. I don't know if I'm going to purchase it. Hmm. Lookout Life. I don't. I haven't heard of that. Is that Hoko Life or is, is that auto <laughs> Is that Ho Hoko Life that was auto corrected to Lookout Life? But yeah, I like how you can put the furniture wherever you want in Hoko Life. Yeah, one person. I meant to say Hoko Life. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I just unlocked stable. How do I farm followers sprites? So you're gonna get followers sprites just by like farming like uh, m smashing rocks uh, Tilling the ground cutting trees just by doing things like that I just just got here, but it's really late here, and I need to sleep love your channel. Thank you for sharing this awesome content I've been playing SOS for some time and Have a nice and decorated farm got a lot of inspiration from you Thank you so much. We'll try to record and show you. Yeah, if you record it, please. If you're not on Discord yet, you can join Discord and you can put photos or videos of your farm there. And I'd be happy to see how that looks. I've been hoping to get a key for Hoko Life due to being a content creator, but they are unforgiving. Oh, no. That's too bad. Yeah, I don't know. I know a lot of people got it, but yeah, for me, they contacted me directly but i don't know if you contact them if you can get a key i don't know yeah maybe you could try contacting them but i think is it me or is that not getting... Oh, I need... <laughs> they need... They're running out of coal. Okay, let me just fill them up. I should just grind woodcutters, mountains, and final mind. Yeah, if you need... For me, I didn't... I, I feel like I didn't have to really grind for follower sprites. I mean, uh, just by doing what you have to do, usually you're going to get them. But yeah, I mean, if you're not level 9 if you're not level 10 if you yeah <laughs> if you have some experience to get still in uh, wood cutting and mining I would definitely maybe take that opportunity and get some sprites at the same time okay I'm gonna get some coal I'm gonna plant that My fiance is a YouTuber with almost 400k subs and they denied his request. Oh my gosh, why? Why <laughs> Why would they deny his request? Oh my gosh. Four. That's a lot, 400k. Maybe they have a certain amount of people. I don't know. I don't know how... I don't know how they're doing it, so... Did they fix any stutter that was in the game? I think I think they did. Um, I used to have so many people in my videos <laughs> saying, "Oh my gosh, the frame rate is so bad in that game," but no one said that during today's stream yet. So I think that's a good sign. But also just for me personally, I noticed like usually this area right here would be really bad, and now it's pretty smooth. Like for the most part, it's pretty smooth. So yeah, I, I do notice a pretty good difference. Actually, pretty nice improvement. 
So actually for the zucchini, I'm gonna forget that. Uh, I'm gonna use the eight, the, this one, the eight star one. I don't know this one, the Napa cabbage. Does that make seeds of, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, let me just make sure I make eight star seeds from that. All right, and this cabbage, I'm gonna keep it in my fridge. I always wondered if you get many business related mails like promo and stuff, but I thought you probably weren't comfortable with that question. So it's interesting to know they contacted you. Yeah, I'm definitely comfortable with that question. Like that's not something that's not something I'm not comfortable with. Uh, yeah, I get emails sometimes, maybe like, uh, like maybe three or four times a week. But usually most of the time, a lot of them are games that are like not either like not fitting my channel or games that I'm just not interested in. Uh, yeah, sometimes even though I get like farming kind of related games, but they look, I don't know if, if the games, if the game looks a bit like subpar or like, I don't know, I'm, I'm not going to do it. So yeah. So yeah, a few times a week, but yeah, it's always exciting when I see, when I receive a code for a game that I wanted to buy, like Hoko Life I was interested in. So that was really exciting. Uh, uh, also when I got the code for Cozy Grove that was really exciting because that was a game I really really wanted to get and yeah oh so we got a new chicken guys let me know your name ideas what's the goal tonight Josh anything you're trying to get done in game yeah so I'm trying to finish Lovett's request and to do that I need to get a giant catfish a 10 star giant catfish so I need to level up my fishing skill to 10 so just lots of fish nets and I need to grow cabbage and like bok choy and like napa cabbage for kimchi so I'm trying to get 10 star everything and then I'm gonna do that so yeah we're trying to finish Lovett's request the kids are eating that's good I hope they're enjoying their meal are you still playing cozy grove unfortunately I'm not playing Co cozy grove anymore um, I really enjoy the game but yeah um, I don't know why I stopped playing, but I did. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know, it's a fun game. But since, like, there's no consequence when you skip a day. Or maybe, I don't, I don't know. I feel like there's no urge. There, there's nothing that really makes me want to come back every day. So, I don't know. I just kind of stopped playing. But it's still, I would still recommend the game. But yeah, I not playing <laughs> Cozy Grove too much. Came to lurk here. Hi, cloudy skies. Enjoy your lurking and enjoy your getting ready for work. Chiclet, I like chiclet. Peep, peep is good too. What about? Yeah, we'll go with chiclet. Oops. Coco. I think I probably have. Already a cocoa. So let's go with that. I think there's gonna be there's gonna be a few more. So in two days, in two days we're gonna get a sheep or alpaca or whatever and a cow or a goat. Anyway, two more animals to name on in two more days in game. So get ready for that. They need a random name generator. I'm also bad with naming my animals. I know, right? That's one thing I like about Rune Factory. So in Rune Factory, they have a name already uh, in there by default. So you don't have to think about <laughs> you don't have to think about it. You have already got a pretty good name. Yeah, I don't know what I would do without you, guys. I would give them <laughs> even more. Just lots of boring names. So let's see if they're selling anything interesting. My gosh, I'm really running short on um, points.
and I think I'm just gonna <laughs> I feel bad for doing this but I'm just gonna throw everything away I don't know if you guys do that too but they just give you too much stuff that you don't need and yeah, it's just too much oh yeah I need to go to the museum for these bags though oh yeah I need to get coal for my pumps Yeah, it's just too much. Maybe the wood I can keep. I'm gonna keep this too. Yay, glad to catch a stream. Hi, small fox. I'm glad you were able to make it. I keep the cooked meals. Yeah, I used to keep them too, but <laughs> at, at one, one point you just have too much. Like my fridge, I can't fit I can't fit too much more stuff in my fridge. And like the quality, my at first I think the meals are quite useful at first, but now the quality they give you like what six star meals or something. But everything I make now is like ten stars, so uh yeah, just the quality of the dishes they they give you is not too good. I'm starting to have a lot, a lot of stuff. I can probably order some new clothes or something quite soon. Um, okay, I need more. Okay, let's do this. I never thought of throwing them away and <laughs> now I feel a bit silly. Yeah, because if you sell them, they take your whole shipping box. You can't even fit everything in your shipping box, so... Um... Okay, now I need wool. Let's do some gray rabbit wool. And then let's make some grass. Let's make some thread. Doesn't matter which one. Why is my follower sprite total capped at 200? Mm, maybe you need maybe you need more sprites. I'm not sure why. Usually, I think there's 800 you can get in total. Okay, so I'm gonna put that away. Okay, let me let me make some wood. I heard out of a habit and experience with other Star of Seasons game. Yeah, for sure. I. After, yeah, at first I ordered a lot, but once you, after playing more, you kind of realize <laughs> what you need and what you don't need. And there are some things that you just don't, some things you just don't need to have that many of. Okay, let's make some diamonds, some emeralds. Oh yeah, I need this. And let's make um silver I always feel so guilty for trashing sprite villager every time I go there no we're just giving it back yeah we're just giving it back to them I'm sure they <laughs> they they must appreciate but yeah I wish you could just take the coins in the experience without like <laughs> taking the materials All right, so that's good. So now let me put that away and then we're gonna go to the museum. There's a reason why there's so many different kinds of chests and maybe we'll need that special item someday. Yeah, it's good to have a at least a little bit of everything, but.
All right, so, okay, let me... I haven't rolled my wolf. I, I realized that recently I feel like I never use my my mounts. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my few things away. Okay, I'm gonna fill that up. Oh, and my my wheat is ready. Even though I don't need, I already have a lot. But yeah, let's pick it up. And I'm not gonna have time to. It's gonna be winter soon, so I'm not gonna plant more. Just gonna pick it up. And yeah, once you get the giant makers and. The 1.0.5, <laughs> it's super quick to transform your wheat into flour. It went up after I deposited my followers to the earth village. I see. I'm not sure why. Just fill that up, so I have 240. Alright. Alright, so that's good. Now let me take that and let's go to the museum. Oh, so let me just make sure they still have food. 21 more until wolf mount. Ooh, that's nice. You're gonna get get it soon. I was really excited when I got the wolf mount for the first time. Also, just make sure you have money because it's 100. Is it 100k? I don't remember too much, but it's quite expensive. So now gonna go to the museum oh wow <laughs> what happened with that barn I used to have a few glitches sometimes where my my makers would go in the ground and I would have to like pick them up or I'm not sure what I had to do but I haven't had that kind of bug in such a long time um, okay yeah we need to inspect yeah uh, I feel like they, they fixed a lot of the little bugs and glitches in the recent updates maybe not necessarily in 1.0.5 but even in 1.0.4 like yeah I feel like there's a lot less bugs than what it used to be I love that half the, half the pictures of the loading screens are glitches. Yeah, they're either glitches, glitches or like very like <laughs> creepy, sometimes kind of creepy close-ups of characters are glitches. Yeah, sometimes you get pretty good, <laughs> pretty good pictures too, but yeah, most of the time. Most of the time they're not that good. Like that is pretty cute. I'm not even sure what what picture I have uploaded. I'm not sure. I'm not sure which one I uploaded. Okay, I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna put my fish bait away. And then I'm gonna plant my new seeds. Then I'm just gonna wait. Mm, 
Mm. I'm gonna put it here. That's full. Everything's full. <laughs> I just want to put my fish bait somewhere. I love the um, what a di diplomatic way of describing the pervy photos. Yeah. Mm, all right. So let's sell that and that. All right. Let's plant that. Also, there's so many puddles. Maybe I can do a little kind of clean up after that. All right. So I should have with all of this. When all of this is grown, I should have everything I need for my recipes. You should be able to take more pictures if you, I don't take any. Yeah, it's too bad that you can only um, take 10 pictures, right? Then you have to delete them. I really wish you could take more. Yeah. And that you could save them to your Switch. Unfortunately, that's not something... So far in the updates, that's not something like they've mentioned that they wanted to work on. Um... Yeah, maybe there's not that many people who are interested in the picture thing, but for me, yeah. I'd love to have a more convenient kind of camera system. But it's still not too bad. Oh yeah, did I check my fish? So I think after that we're going to be pretty close to level 10. Oh wait, where's my... Hmm, did I... wait, did I sell my fish... where did I put my fish nets? I had like 30... Wait, I had 30 fish nets left. <laughs> Anybody remembers where I put them? I really had... okay, let me check in my winter garden. I'm pretty sure I had a lot. Quite a bit of fish nets left. And I'm not sure what I did. Hopefully I didn't sell them. I might have sold them. I don't know. Let's see. Not here. E not here. Not here. Not here. Yeah, I think... Okay, I'm gonna go get some more grass. I think I sold them by accident. Is that possible? Or did I use everything? Not sure what... <laughs> not sure what I did, but... That's okay, we're gonna make more. We're gonna make more... I wouldn't be able to make more if it wasn't for 1.0.5. But now that... I can make lumber very quickly. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh yeah, I just need to get grass first. Because I don't have too much grass. I thought you used all the ones you had. Maybe I, maybe I did. I feel like... I don't know, I made 60. Did I already use the 60? Maybe I did. Maybe. I hope so. So how's my... Yeah. We made some progress, but... We still have a lot, lot of progress to make to level up before we get to level 10. Yeah, maybe I did use everything. I'm not sure. It's kind of funny how the grass that I'm missing the most is the regular one. Like all of the other grass have so much, but the regular one, just because I'm trying to make lots of rope, I don't have a lot. I'm still gonna take everything just in case. Yeah. It really does take a lot of energy, even with the 20 hearts. Every every time that I come here, I use up most of my stamina. Yeah, all right, that's gonna be good enough. And then, let's see if I have any more here. Mm, 
Yeah, we couldn't make that much rope. Then like this. And then we're gonna get some wood. Yeah, we can only make four. Yeah, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, I don't think. Yeah, that's gonna. We're really gonna need more than that. Well, that's a start. So let me do that. I just hope things are well. What's the plan for the stream so far? So I'm trying to finish all of Love It's request. So I'm trying to get to level ten of fishing to get a 10 star giant catfish and i'm also trying to uh, just growing some vegetables that i'm missing for some recipes trying to get everything to 10 star i skipped back 10 minutes but your nets are lost sorry oh no <laughs> thank you so much thanks for checking Yeah, I think I, I just used them up. That's okay, yeah. Yeah, you really do need lots lots of rope. Lots of regular grass. That's most that's harder to get than <laughs> wood actually. If you if you don't get it regularly. That's always what I'm running short of. With those nets yeah the nets are only one time use unfortunately and yeah they're kind of expensive to make so but they're the, one of the best ways to like improve your fishing skill quite quickly relatively quickly so yeah maybe i should make yeah in, instead of making the giant fish nets i think I, sh I should make like the basic ones i think that might be a little bit better well, yeah, I still need rope. I still need rope for the... I, st I think the small ones. So the big ones take three rope each. Uh, these ones, five rope each. Okay, and what about... Oh, yeah, these are the giant ones. Actually, I haven't been making the most expensive ones. But that's okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, but the regular, the smaller ones... Uh, small ones, where are you... Two rope each. Yeah, so I think next one, I'm just going to make the small ones. That might be a little bit better. Why not buy some? Should be cheap, right? Kit, wait, can you even buy grass from the... Wait, let me see. I don't think... Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you might be able to buy grass, actually. Let me check at the journal. I don't know why sometimes I don't even think... Of that but yeah if they sell it I could buy a few stacks because they sell the ores they sell wood they sell yeah they probably sell grass why why didn't I think of that earlier let me see you can buy grass from the storm yeah I know you can buy from the sprite village but the sprite village is expensive because I don't have that many points. Yeah, you c you can buy grass. Okay, let me. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, guys! Why did I? Yeah, why why didn't I think of that earlier? I, we're gonna solve that problem once and for all. I'm never gonna have to buy grass again. Maybe the small ones don't bring your skill up as fast as the big ones. I think it just depends on what fish you get. Like, on the amount of fish that you get. So, I don't... I think in the... Maybe, I think in the big one, you get, like, three fish instead of two or something like that. But, I don't know. But anyway, now that I know that I can buy grass, actually, I can just make the... It's not going to be a problem. I'm gonna buy a few stacks. Yeah, we're almost at 10, so just a few more days.
It's actually really cheap. Alright, so that's good. So we have pretty good amount of grass. Now let's make some ropes. Ooh, 799. That's pretty good. Should we buy more? I'm gonna buy more grass just in case. Just in case I need to make a little bit more later. I think the big nets will give you four or five fish because the small ones give me two. Yeah, I don't remember the exact number. I used to know, but... You're literally buying the whole grass and still have so much money. Yeah, it really... It's barely making a dent in my total balance. Alright, so I think that should be good. And let's check. I don't think I need to buy wood or anything else. So let's go back to make more fish nets. Thank you so much, Anaconda, for reminding me that you can actually buy that at the general store. That's such a time saver. Such a time saver. All right, so now let's go back here. Oh, so I'm gonna check my peaches. So I still need to make, I still need to make a little bit more money. So let me see if my peaches are ready for harvesting or not. Um. Okay, and then this. Yeah, even then, like, I'm using so much ropes, using so much wood. Um, but let's see if I can make this one. Yeah, really 1.0.5 is such a game changer. That update makes everything so much easier. Okay, right, like this. Oh no, I'm not gonna be able to fit all my grass. You know what? I mean, let me make a few more rope, a bit more rope. I'm poor from buying max axe. Yeah, the tools are pretty, pretty expensive. All right, so that's pretty good, right? So let's put down these fishing nets. Helping out the local business like a great neighbor should do. Yeah, I'm definitely helping them out. I wish I could do more with my money. I wish. Yeah, I just wish you could spend your money on more things. All right, so that's, did I pick this up? No, okay, I put it down today. So let's put these everywhere. So I think within I don't know how many days. I think three or four days we should be level 10. Then we can try to get the catfish. And then by that time in three to four days, our all of our crops are going to be ready. So that's going to be good. Then we can finish all the requests. Keep an eye on the nets. <laughs> Just don't lose them again. Yeah, I'm definitely going to make sure. You know what? I'm going to put them... I'm going to put them here at the very, very <laughs> first spots on my inventory so I don't lose them. Do you know when will 1.0.5 update in the English version? Unfortunately, they're still working on it, so there's no official dates yet. So hopefully, my guess, but that's just the guess, uh, maybe sometime next week. Maybe sometime this week if we're lucky, but 
Yeah, it's it's not out yet, so who knows? But uh, yeah, no one knows. Uh, so let's go to sleep. Oh yeah, I want to check my peaches actually. Maybe I can check them tomorrow morning. Okay, let's go to sleep. Today's raining. Okay, all right, let's check. Let's check our peaches. I just noticed the little kiwis on uh, Lavet's shoes. During the loading screen, like on his shoes, he has two little kiwis. Really cute. Um, yeah, wrong garden. How do you drop items inside your house from your bag? I can't figure out how to do that. Um, you just, I mean, you just hover over the item on your toolbar. And if it's something you can place in your house, um, you're gonna have you're gonna have yellow spots like on your counter space and it will show you um, and then you can just press a to put it there but it's not every item that you can place in your house have you heard about hoko life I did hear about hoko life I actually made a video on on it a few weeks ago um, yeah so I've had the chance to play quite a bit But uh, yeah, we talked about it a little bit earlier in the stream. Unfortunately, I've been having some issues with the game. So I was supposed to do like a review or like another video on the game. But I'm just having too many bugs and I can't... I had to restart my save file so many times and I'm having kind of a hard time. So I kind of give up on the game for now. I might get back to it when I, when I calm down. I'm gonna get back to it and give it a second chance. Um, I was really hoping to get a review out like today since the game is coming out today, but Yeah, now I'm not getting enough peaches for all of my for all of my seedling makers So you know what I'm gonna get a few I'm gonna be making a few avocado seedlings Character models creep me out on Hoko. Yeah, I've heard a lot. For me, they don't bother me too much. I'm just gonna pick up. I'm gonna pick up everything. Um, they don't bother me too much, but I know a lot of people mention that they don't really like the character models in Hoko Life. But yeah, I can. Some of them I don't really like, but yeah, some of them are cute. Some of them can be a little bit creepy. I can. Yeah, I I I understand your point definitely. It's kind of hard to differentiate like the giant avocados from the normal ones. They look so similar. Yeah, I used to pick up just my peach seedlings. Um, but now with the 1.0.5, I realized that I don't ha I don't get enough seedlings for all of my makers. So I'm going to go with avocados too. Like it's different every time. Sometimes you get more golden peaches. Sometimes, sometimes you don't get that many. Yeah, 
Where can you play Hoko Life? You can download it from... It's available on Early Access. Early Access, so just keep in mind it's... Uh, there might still be some bugs and things. Um, but, uh, yeah, you can get it on Steam. I don't know if it's available, just... I don't know if it's just Windows or Mac or... I'm not sure, but it's it's available on Steam. Hello, hi Shannon, hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining the stream. Okay, and for these ones, I'm just gonna do this. Alright, so let's see how much money we can make with 1,160 1, peach seedlings. I'm trying to upgrade my trees, but it's so slow waiting for them to grow. It does take a while. I know. It took me a few months to get like 10 star everything. Did they announce when the new Star of Seasons update will release? They did not announce it yet. Alright guys, let's see how much money we can make. Oops. No, no. Not selling this. 2 million, 400,000. That's pretty good. I'm gonna sell everything. So 2,500,000, that is pretty good. Not too bad, not too bad. And now let's see how our crops are doing. Yeah, not yet. The flowers are ready, but I don't really need these flowers. So yeah, let me take care. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up my fish makes two million a day <laughs> not too bad yeah well that it's not really two million a day it's me because that's like they've been the makers like they've been making seedlings for nine days like nine or ten days so yeah it's it's like 2.5 millions every every 10 days so that's 250,000 a day right so that that's pretty good actually that's pretty good I wish <laughs> I wish I could do the same in real life but yeah that's pretty good yeah so I don't need to do everything I like I don't need to grow crops. I don't need to take care of my animals. That's pretty much the only way. Only good method of like making a lot of money in end, end game. Not really end game. You can do that as as soon as you get the seedling makers. You can start doing that actually. All right, so let's see how our fishing skill is doing. <gasps> Almost. Maybe three, four, five. I don't know. Maybe three more. Maybe three more days. So, oh, and I should have the chest. Right, I'm just gonna. We're gonna go to the museum. So close, yeah, we are so close. Let's have <laughs> that's gonna be a really stinky farm, but all right. So we got this. Oh, let me check my ancient lake because um, I do have a few pumps there, and they probably need to be replenished. So let me check that. Then we're gonna go to the museum. So let's go to the ancient lake. Oh yeah, I need to talk to my journey sprite to and okay yeah I need to fill these up. How do you use those pumps to drain the water? 
I mean, you just put the pumps and then you put coal lumps. And they're gonna drain the water automatically. And then it's gonna fill back up. And then you're gonna have to wait a few days until the water gets dirty again and it, it's gonna pump again and yeah pretty straightforward that's pretty much it um and i need actually i'm missing two pumps in there so let me just make let me just m make those two pumps have you married and had children yet so i I married Iori, but I don't have any children yet. I think probably next month, because I married on the 8th of summer, and I think it takes two months, right? So probably next month. Um, okay, wait, I'm missing something. Um, okay, yeah, I want to make pumps. So how do you make pumps? You need brick and... Wait, where's the pump? Oh yeah, brick and silver. Let me, let me take my silver. And let's take my brick. Where do you find coal lumps? Uh, so you can find coal, I think, in the second and third mine in the, the veins, in the walls of the mine. You can get coal from there. And after you sold it once, you can then buy it from the general store. So usually, usually that's what I would recommend doing, just to buy it from the general store, because it's kind of hard to find in the mine, and you're only gonna get a few at a time. So, yeah. So yeah, from the second mine, you're gonna be able to get them, and then as soon as you do, make sure you sell one to the store. And yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Okay, so let's go back. Does anyone know what's the reward for fishing level 10? Is it just decoration? I don't think it's decoration. Um, yeah, you get one recipe and one like ability. I'm not sure exactly. I don't remember. I know I looked it up. Um, I don't remember. I think... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We're, we're gonna see that in a few days, but I'm not sure exactly. Alright, so that's probably gonna be like one or two days for that. Oh, I think I think the recipe is the mysterious fish bait, which is kind of useless. It is for like if you want to get the aurora fish and the sparkling fish, the shining fish. It's for those three fish, so it's kind of kind of useless to be honest. Uh, I think that's the recipe that you get for fishing level ten. And then I think. I think the, uh, the the perk that you unlock is that the value of the fish that you sell is going to be higher. I think that's what it is. So, yeah, I think the value of your fish is going to increase and you're going to get the mysterious fishing bait, if my memory is correct. But if I'm wrong, please correct me. We're almost at 10 million... I think we can reach 10 million today. I'm gonna. I mean, today's stream, not today in game, but in a couple days, I'm gonna check my seedlings and yeah. We can see if anything happens when you reach 10 million. Actually, I'm pretty sure nothing happens. Um, all right, so let's see if we can get closer to level 10 of fishing. Hi, Franny. Hope you're doing well. I have so much sap from trees. Do you ever use it? Um, I use sap, so it's useful for... You're gonna need it to craft, like, street lamps. Like, these ones. And all, all the different lamps, actually, are gonna need uh, sap. And also, you're gonna need it if you wanna make... 
Um, the, I think the big jam maker, the giant jam maker requires a lot, but like that's not something you really need. But yeah, mostly for decoration for lamps. So yeah, I would recommend to keep your sap. How do you have so much money? So I'm, I'm on year four, but I use... Um, I showed it a little bit earlier, but in my summer garden, I'm growing 10 star peach trees. So they give me a lot of golden peaches. And then I put my golden peaches in my seedling makers. And yeah, they're worth a lot of money and that's really the best way to make money. So I have a whole video on that. Oh, fishing. Oh, wow. I didn't think I would make it in one day. I didn't think I thought it would take a few more days. Yeah, we finally got to fishing level 10. So I never have to take care of those fishing nets again. I crafted a few too much fishing nets. Oh, giant spawn makers use this sap as well. Yeah, that's true. Yay, we made it. So yeah, the value of your fish and the mysterious fishing bait. Uh, so yeah, but anyway, the, the whole point is for us. Um, I want to... Hopefully, I'm, I'm, it's gonna be easier to get ten star, uh, ten star giant catfish. That's the whole point. So yeah, let's see. <laughs> we did it. Nothing special happens. Still exciting. Yeah, for sure. I'm glad. And now the only thing I'm missing is the communication skill. This one's gonna take a little while, but after that, I'm gonna be level ten everything. So that's good. That's a little achievement. Now you only have to catch 700 more fish. Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't, I don't have to try 700 times. So I'm just gonna, um, yeah, I'm just gonna make some rare fish, uh, guardian fish bait. Yeah, where is it? I know I put it somewhere I shouldn't have. Oh no, I think I put it here. Oh yeah, it's here. Okay, let me see what I need for that. I think I need that. Uh, I don't even know how it's called in English. Yeah, that little grass thing. I meant for the achievement. Did you already get that one? Oh, for the achievement. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I did mm, I'm not sure oh yeah how do you know I was so close to 700 I, yeah <laughs> well 500 500 a, little, a bit more than 500 more yeah is there anything else in fishing uh, I got the treasure that I can go. Okay, let me see what kind of treasure we get actually. Now we, <laughs> you can lose the nets again. We don't need them. Yeah, I'm gonna keep them just in case. Actually, I'm gonna keep them for that achievement. I don't know if I'm gonna go like trying to make all the like try to get all the achievements. But yeah, I need 500 more. 500 more fish. Halfway done. I'm only I'm only at like 300. That's interesting. So, are you level 10? You're level 10 at 300. Um. All right. So that's good. Does anyone know if fish traps leave you up in fishing? Yeah, they will increase your fishing skill. That's how I just got to level 10. That's how I got most of my fishing skills just by using the fishing nets. I mostly just use the net, so that's why I didn't catch a lot of it. Oh, sh oh, I see. What is that? So... Yeah, okay, let me go to the sprite village. Yeah, hopefully it's not gonna be too hard to get the giant catfish now. I'm just gonna buy these little, I don't know how they're called. Mm. 
this one. That picture probably was another glitch. Yeah, I think so. I was wondering if it was maybe something from a cutscene, but I don't remember. I don't remember any cutscene with that. So yeah, it was probably some kind of glitch. Only four. Oh, I need a lot more of these things. I think I can buy from the general store. Okay, let me go back to the general store. Yeah, I'm gonna need more fish bait for sure. Hopefully being level 10 is gonna make it easier, but I actually have no idea. I feel like the fishing is kind of random. Like sometimes even when you're level one in fishing, you would get like really, like you could get eight star fish. I feel like it's really, really random. So can you show me how much the our our calcum sickle can clear? Yeah, I can show you. Uh, sorry, it's gonna be, no, I think it's gonna be here. Can you buy the thing to make fish bait? Oh yeah, you can. All right, that should be enough, hopefully. Alright, so you wanted to see the cycle, right? So the cycle, the Oricalcum cycle, all the Oricalcum tools are pretty good. Uh, but it is... Like this. So it's four... Five by four plus like a little three in front of you. So yeah, big like this. So that's pretty good, if you ask me. That's pretty satisfying. So... Yeah, okay, let me check the enchant lake. I don't know if it's gonna be drained today or tomorrow. Thank you, you're welcome. I think if you're looking to upgrade your Arucalicum tools, I would definitely go for the axe and hammer first. And then, yeah, okay, that's not, that's not ready today. Okay, all right, so we still have an hour for that thing. So that fish can spawn until 11, right? So let's try to get a catfish and let's see if we're lucky. Oops. That would be pretty good if we can get it on our first try. I don't know if it's any easier with my new level. Oops. And let's see. Oh, 10 star. Oh my gosh, that was so, <laughs> so much easier. One shot. So, yeah, I think you do need to be level 10 if you want to get that giant cat, 10 star giant catfish. You might not be able to get it before that. Uh, if you can, it must be really, really rare. Whew, we're finally making some progress. I'm really, really happy about that. So now let's try to make that Tom Yam Pla. That was pretty satisfying, pretty good. So let's try that like this. Of course, we're gonna put some pepper and let's see if it works and nope okay <laughs> let's try again 
yeah uh i think i'm gonna try a few times like this if it doesn't work i'm gonna go to sleep and then i'm gonna get maybe two or three fish so i don't have to reload between every fish but that's good we're making progress and then and then our crops are they're gonna be almost ready i'm just gonna sleep until my crops are ready gonna sleep like a few days in a row and then my crops are gonna be ready and then all of Levet's requests are gonna be done I hope there's not a request that I forgot completely I think I think I got everything I think once my crops are done and everything's good I think I think I should be able to do all the recipes Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna... Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna sleep and try to get more fish. Yeah. I assume that with the 10-star fish, it would be a lot easier, but it's not. Right. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. No, okay, all right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try just, maybe I'm gonna be super lucky. <laughs> I'm gonna try with a nine star just in case. Uh, I, I really don't think it's gonna work. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna reload, then I'm gonna sleep. And I think I should be able to catch a few more level 10. 10 star. So much so much loading screens if there was no loading if there was no loading it would be too much of a problem it would be it would be a lot faster all right let's sleep Don't use the topping. Really? Is the topping making it worse? So we've got a baby brown alpaca. So if you guys have any name ideas, maybe you'll have better luck tomorrow. Hopefully. So cute. You can save a bit of time by putting all the ingredients next to each other in your inventory. Yeah, I think I should do that actually. Like, at least put the pepper on the same page as the other ones. Oh no, another name. Yeah, <laughs> another. We're gonna have to name two animals actually. There's gonna be a cow right after, or a goat. So, yeah. I tried with and without topping to see if there was any difference. For about 30 minutes, I eventually got it with the topping. Yeah. Yeah, I'm assuming it must be better with the topping. I don't see why. I don't see why it would work better without the topping. Mocha. Okay, I think we're going to go with that. That's the first suggestion. So let's go with that. That's pretty good. Uh, if you guys have any idea for the goat, let me know. Oh no, not a goat, that's a cow. That's a cow. So how should we name our cow? Mm. 
So cute. How should we name Brownie? Brownie's pretty cute. Let's go for that. Call the cow goat. Poor goat. Poor cow. Poor cow. Oops. <laughs> Brownie. Oh my gosh. I'm. <laughs> I messed up. I meant to write Brownie. I just called it Brown. <laughs> I was just like thinking about the color of the cow. Oh my god, Jacopo. Oh, Jacopo would have been pretty good, like in um, was that in our Harvest Moon '64 stream? We had one cow named Love It and another one called Jacopo. I don't know if we had. I know we had Love It. I'm not sure if we had Jacopo Brown. I'm <laughs> so bad. I was meant to call her Brownie. That's okay. Anyway, she's not um. She's not gonna give me 10 star milk yet, so I'm gonna get rid of her at one point anyway, so it's not really important what her name is, because she's only temporary. So yeah, I feel bad for <laughs> I feel bad for saying that, but I'm gonna get rid of her eventually. So I'm just gonna wait until seven. I always name mine after food. I got a no goat named Beria. Ooh, what's Beria? Yeah, I use food name a lot. Food names are pretty good. Okay, so wish me luck, guys. Hopefully we can get lots of big catfish today. Alright, let's start. I don't know if I got very lucky. I don't know how hard it's gonna be to get 10 star, but let's see. Let's One of my favorite names from the chat are Tiramusu and Godzilla. Yeah. Oh my gosh, 10 star. That's good. Tiramusu, I don't think I've seen that one. But Godzilla, Godzilla is pretty good. I think we still have Godzilla. I still, I, st I think we still have it. I have her. I just completed the quest last night and Lavette gives you a rare recipe the next day. Oh, that's good. Yeah, at least you get some kind of reward. Let's go. I have to go nice stream. See you in the next. All right, Daniel. Thank you so much. See you in the next one. Oh, I got one nine star one. I wish <laughs> Mark Buffalo fit in the box. Yeah, that would be pretty good. Yeah, it's a lot easier to get 10 star now. A lot easier. Hopefully I don't mess up this one. I'm gonna have to find a name for my child too. It's coming up in like a few... In less than a month. I think so. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come up with a name for that for for him. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm getting lots of eight stars. Hopefully I can get at least three. Three or four would be good. Human names are worse than animal names. Yeah. Because like animals you can just give them like food name and like it's all cute and fine. But humans you can like you have to give them like a more serious name, right? Okay, it's a little bit harder harder.
I mean, it's just a video game, so you can like, <laughs> I could give my child a food name, but I feel like I would feel a little bit bad for doing this. New version still out of North America version. Yeah, so the new update is still not out for North America, unfortunately. Just jinxed himself. He said it was easy to catch 10 starfish and now he's only catching 8. I know, I'm only getting like 8 and 10 now. <laughs> like it was super easy at first, like the two first. The two first that I got were 10 stars and now I'm just getting 9 and 8. Sorry, I was reading. <laughs> I was reading the chat. I kind of messed up my fish. Okay, that was really bad. Okay, I mean, let me do that. Again. Oh, we just have eight, seven, five minutes left. Okay. Hopefully, this one's gonna be ten star. Hopefully. Oops. Okay, I gotta be more careful. Alright, hopefully 10 star. Nah, 9. Okay. So, we still have 2. So, that's better than nothing, right? So, let's try. And let's see if the cabbage is ready. And, okay, let's see. Right, let's check out the ancient lake. I think North America gets the new update a month later than Japan since Star of Seasons came out a month after Japan's release. Yeah, not necessarily. I think it's going to be sooner than that. I think you don't need 10 star fish. Just spam cooking it. 4 to 5 stars, it will become 11 star foods. Yeah, I tried so many times. I like I tried with like the 8 the 9 star fish. I tried for like a really really long time and I couldn't get it so and I've been trying for a little while with the 10 star and it, I'm still having a hard time so okay you know what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna move my paper to the third page because my coconuts are on that page and that's um, it's gonna make it a little bit faster Actually, I'm going to save now. All right, guys. Wish me luck. Let's do this. I wish I had more than two fish, but... Nope. That didn't work. That didn't work. All right, let's try this again. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah, I might have to get more. I wish I had like three to five fish. They didn't they did say they're working on final details but they can give a date so I'd personally estimate more than a week but less than a month. Yeah, I think so too. I think like maybe next week or so. I don't think it would take a whole month. Um yeah. Cuz like yes, they do have like to translate the text, but there it's not there's not as much text as like as with the DLC as with the expansion pass right uh it's just a uh, like a few more dialogues and like yeah so i think it's probably gonna be like if maybe a few weeks but yeah it's not i don't think it's gonna be a whole month oops okay that didn't work 
I'm so excited to I'm so excited for summer break I'll be able to play I live down all day yeah hopefully get a nice summer break yeah I love summer break to be able to play games all day um okay that didn't work so I think I'm gonna try to get more fish you're completing your Levitt's request. Yes, that's what I'm trying to do. That's my goal for today. I just have a few missing. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to check if my cabbage is ready. I'm going to sleep, then I'm going to take a look at my cabbage. Then I'm going to try to get more fish. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, I'm going to go breed more animals actually. Let me go to the animal shop. Okay, let's go to the animal shop. I really hope we can finish these requests before the end of today's stream. Hope we can finish that today. Alright, so let's breed. Maybe we can do the sheep. And here we could do probably black cows. And then chicken. We could do another 13th generation chicken. Alright. Hi Josh and everyone else. Hi little snake hips, hope you're doing well. Which you like better, Syrup Seasons, Olive Town or Rune Factory? That's a really tough question. I feel like I haven't played Rune Factory enough yet. I don't know, because I played Rune Factory maybe like 20 hours, maybe a bit less. And I played like almost 200 hours of Olive Town. But I definitely see myself probably I'm gonna probably gonna be playing Rune Factory, like 200 hours, maybe even more than Olive Town in total, because I feel like there's so much content and so many things you can do in Rune Factory. So, yeah, I'm really, really enjoying Rune Factory 5 so far. And yeah, it's hard. There are two different games. It's hard to tell, like, would, if I like one more than the other. But I think definitely in Rune Factory, there's going to be like more content and more things to do in general and like a longer. Like, I don't know how the end game is going to be in Rune Factory 5. I know the end game in Rune Factory 4 was quite long. So I'm hoping it's going to be similar with 5. But yeah, they're both amazing games. Um, yeah, it's hard to <laughs> it's hard to say which one I like the most. All right, maybe try making some fresh pepper and spices. I got rainbow with fresh and not using other seasonings that I had in storage. I tend to everything except seasonings. Um, but my there's no star quality for the seasonings, right? So it doesn't make any difference. All right, let's see if things are ready here. Okay, not yet. So, all right, so let's try to catch more fish today. Hopefully we're gonna be lucky. How many fish baits I have left? I have 42 left, so let's try this. Just gonna wait until seven. Yeah, that's... This is taking way longer than I thought. 
Like, I, <laughs> I really thought I would be able to finish. Like, during the last Olive Town stream, I thought I was gonna be able to finish that. And then, during the anniversary stream last Sunday, I thought I would be able to finish it. And now today, I thought I would be able to finish it. We still have time left, so I might still be able to finish it today, but... It's taking way, <laughs> way more work and way more time than I expected. Make your rod a recalcum so that you can easily get... Yeah, my rod is... A recalcum, it is. I'm le level 10 of fishing and a recalcum fishing rod. So that previous one was pretty hard. I'm pretty sure it was probably a 10 star that I missed. Oh, yeah, we got another. So we're at three, three 10 star fish now. Pretty good. I'm kind of stuck if I should divorce Damon for Neil. Hmm. It's up to you, but... Personally, I'd prefer Neil over Damon, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's a tough choice. What is the last request of Levitz we're working on now? The Yin Yang food? Um, there's a Tom Yam... Um, how is it called again? Um, <laughs> I forgot how it's called, but yeah, there's the the Thai dish uh, with the giant catfish that I'm looking at making. Tom yam pla, tom yam. I forgot. Yeah. Anyway, I'm looking for that one, um, and there's the kimchi, and there's um, there's another one that I'm missing. Um, there's a few recipes that I'm missing, but yeah, I'm working on all of them at the same time. Not every item has to be rainbow star quality. I would take each dish to level to see if you would take it. Yeah, but for the Tom Yam Pla, he needs the rainbow star quality. So that's... Yeah, if, if, if it was just 10 star, I would have given it already a long time ago. But he needs the rainbow one. Oh no! It's nice to know that people like Demon, he hardly gets any attention. He hardly gets any attention. I think he's one of the most popular, no? I think he gets a lot of attention. I think his three requests 11 star food quality. Yeah. Yeah, I know this one needs rainbow star. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just focusing on the chat. Okay, let me focus on my fishing. Why am I so bad? Okay, maybe I have time for one more. I have nine minutes. I feel like almost everyone in the chat married Damon. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I think Damon is definitely one of the most popular from what I've seen. Damon and Yori is pretty popular too, but... And... Oh yeah, yeah, yay, 10 star. That's good, that's good. Alright, so let's try that again. Hey Shark, hi Shark, hope you're doing well. I'm very late, but hey, yeah, no worries. I'm glad you're able to make it. So we're trying to finish Lovett's request. 
and I got level 10 in fishing, so it gets a little bit easier. And yeah, I need to make that tum yum. Uh, I always forget how it's called. Yeah, tum yum pla. Um, yeah, so let's try this one more time. Anyone propose to Ralph will need to find out Jacopo is secret <laughs> secretly in love with him? What? Is Jacopo in love with Ralph? Did I miss something? Yeah, I don't know why it's so hard. Even with all of my 10 star ingredients, I'm not having any luck whatsoever. It's really not going well. Okay, let's try with the 9 star fish. Yeah, nope, no luck. Okay, let's reload. Let's try that again. I don't know who said that, but maybe really try without the seasoning. We have to try everything at this point. Yeah, I'm. G I don't see how not adding the seasoning would help, but yeah, I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna try one more time with the seasoning and with everything. Then we're gonna try one more time without the seasoning, just to give it a try. Um, yeah, one more time with the seasoning, and then we're gonna try one time without, just in case. It's a very chaotic week. I'm back home this weekend from college, so been a lot of packing and spending what little time with my boyfriend I have. I see. Yeah, I hope you're not too busy. Take some time to rest. Alright, no luck with that. Now let's try. Nope. Oh my gosh. I had... <laughs> like, usually with 10 star ingredients, everything goes well, but... No. I'm not sure why. Nope. Okay, so let's try without the seasoning. Let's see if that changes anything. That's really odd. That's really odd. If not, I'm gonna try... Um, I'm really hoping to finish that recipe. If not, I'm gonna make the other ones. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. Had to close at work today. Hi, the arsonist. Hope you're well. Hope your job was good today. We're trying to finish Lovett's request. I was able to get the 10 star giant catfish, but I can't. I can't get the rainbow quality dish. And yeah, we've been trying to do this for a little while now. And people have recommended to try without using the seasoning so that's what I'm trying to do and see how it goes it is definitely a little bit faster so I like that yeah that doesn't help but no seasoning I don't think that works Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do? Um, I just need a little extra motivation. So I think I'm gonna sleep. I'm gonna let my crops grow. Then I'm gonna make like the kimchi and the other things. I, f I, f I even, I forgot what's the other thing I needed to do, but I know there was something else. Um, yeah, I'm gonna let my crops grow. I'm gonna make the other recipes and I'm gonna keep this one for last, I guess. And hopefully we can finish everything th today. So, yeah. I'm gonna sleep. 
I'm gonna go to sleep. And we're gonna 28 of fall. Let's sleep one more day. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm gonna have to pick up a few. I'm gonna pick up everything that's gonna die in winter. Like I have a few tea leaves and a few, I might have a few, I don't think I have any flowers or anything like that, but I'm gonna make sure I pick up everything. Let's see if my crops are ready. Okay, actually, let me make a few seeds. So it doesn't matter too much at this point what I make. Would it make a difference if you cooked it in Lovett's kitchen? That wouldn't make any difference, no. I'm late to the stream. Hi, Josh. Hope you're doing well. Hi, Ma. Hope you're doing good as well. I heard that Journey Sprite gives you items if you get to level 10. Yes, so there's one treasure. There's the Golden Cow Helm. Um, you need to be level... Um, yeah, you need to be level 10 with the Journey Sprite. So, yeah, that's one thing I need to get done. He's only like six now, so I still have quite a bit of work to do with that. So... Yeah, I think I still need to wait until my book choice is ready, though. Um, yeah, so let's sleep a few more days. Let me just... Okay, yeah, let me sleep. Um, oh, no, 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 yeah. Wait, I need, I need to pick up my tea leaves and everything. Uh... That's why I didn't sleep two days in a row. I just need to pick up everything. It's very hard to get to level 10. It is very hard. It takes uh, quite a long time. Hi, Bron. Hi, Aria. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. So I'm just going to pick up everything that's going to wilt. There's a few wilted things already, I think. I had some flowers in summer that I forgot to pick up, but that's okay. Uh, this area gets so messy. <laughs> I'm too lazy to take up my axe. It's blocking the way. Oh, man, my, farm is <laughs> my farm is becoming such a mess. That's what happens when you... <laughs> when you just cook and fish for multiple days and you don't really take care of your farm. It just gets so messy. Yeah, I would need to get my mushrooms. You know what I'm going to do? I, I think... Yeah, I uh, have lots of spores. Are you serious? That's such a long time to get level 10. Yeah, I know, but you have to. If you want to complete the museum, you have to. So, yeah. So, I, I was supposed... I want to make a video on how to get all the museum treasures. But, yeah, I still, I still have to work on that. I still need to get to level 10 with him. And then even once you're level 10, like, it's not guaranteed that he's going to give it to you. I mean, you have to talk to him a lot. Uh, like, you'll, you're going to have a slim chance of getting it every day, right? Okay, mm, so I'm just going to put my tea here. I'm going to put my flower in my fridge. Okay, I think that's it. I think I don't have anything else that I need to take care of. So I'm going to go back. Go back to sleep. Level 10 for what? You need to be level 10 with the journey sprite for the museum. Not 10 years, level 10. Did I say 10 years? No, you just need to be level 10. But it does take some time. I guess I'm that complete like the museum. Yeah. 
I kind of I almost want to give up, but I'm <laughs> I'm gonna do it one day. But yeah, I, I think I'm just gonna try to go through the month quickly. Yeah, you know what? Let's go talk to the journey sprite right now. What flower gives you the best honey? It's the hellebore that grows in winter. I better go see him more often. Yeah, I know. Like I learned it pretty late. So I started talking to the journey sprite like quite late. <laughs> but yeah, if you get him early, make sure you talk to him. And like he's not even there, like he's there one day out of two, so yeah, make sure you don't miss out. Yeah, so you just have to talk to him. Can I just sell all that useless stuff? I don't want to discourage you too much, Josh, but I skipped to year seven. Oh no, for that sprite, four days at a time. And he's only a third through level nine. Oh my gosh, that's impossible. That sounds like that's so much work. I think it's four different honey. Yeah, there's four different types of honey, but the most valuable one is the royal jelly. And you need to use the hellebore, which is a flower that you can grow in winter to get there. We're all jelly. But yeah, there's four different types of honey. All right, so first of winter, let's see if our crops are ready. Anyone else excited for the expansion pass? Bachelorettes, bachelors. I'm waiting to marry until I can at least see them. Yeah, I can't wait. Ooh, Napa cabbage. That's gonna help us, the big one for the recipes. I just need to wait for the bok choy. I'm not even sure I needed zucchini. I think, I'm not even sure. I think the zucchini was for the lemon soup, which I already made. I'm not too sure. So yeah, I'm gonna have to wait a little bit more. Maybe tomorrow. I found that you don't get more experience if you go longer than about six days at a time, but it's still a crawl. Oh, I see. Yeah. But yeah, going back to the bachelors and bachelorettes, I can't wait to see the ones from the new... Like, I don't... I haven't played the, like, Story of Seasons on 3DS. So the ones that are coming up in the next expansion pass, the, in the next part of the expansion pass, like, I don't really know them. So I'm looking forward to to getting to know them because I don't know the characters like I don't know anything about their story or their personality. So that's going to be good because like a new beginning, I've already played it. So I knew the characters, but yeah, next month, I'm not going to know the characters. So that's going to be interesting for me. I still haven't got the first update. Hmm. Are we talking about the update or the expansion pass? If you're talking about update, you should be on 1.0.4. That's the latest update. And usually you can force, if you press plus on your switch menu, you should be able to force the update if your game is not updating. All right, so I think, all right, so I think now I might be able, I think that pickle is gonna be even, oh no, that's eight star. Did I say pickle? I mean zucchini. All right, so let's see, I think I might have everything to make like kimchi and all the other recipes that I was missing stuff for. So let's go to Lovett's place and let's get cooking. Let's see. 
Okay, I'm just gonna say... Oh, I think I'm still missing something for the kimchi. I'm not sure... Mm, yeah. I should have checked. I should have checked a bit more. Okay, what am I missing? Oh, no. I'm missing pepper and... I had pepper growing on my farm in autumn. There was so much like random wild pepper on my farm. That's so stupid. There was so much pepper on growing on my farm. That's so stupid. Okay, wait. Uh Yeah, I don't Yeah. I had, <laughs> had so many peppers growing on my farm in autumn and I just... why? Okay. That was not good. Why did I do that? Okay, and next... Okay, so that's the um, lemon soup. I, I thought we did the lemon soup last time. Didn't we? But apparently I didn't. Can't you go to Windswept Falls with the latest update? My game didn't update. Push and what else? So Windswept Falls is not with the update. That's with the expansion pass. So did you buy the expansion pass? Buy at Norman's. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna sell it in uh, winter. I'm gonna check, but... Oh, I need the rainbow quality. Oh, I forgot to put the topping. Did you buy the expansion pass? Because if you did, you should have Windswept Falls. Yeah, I'm gonna check the sprite shop. I think that's my only... That's my last chance. I'm sort of sad the Bachelor in the expansion is not Klaus, but Rigor is a great Bachelor. I'm also excited to see Felicity. Yeah! Well, Felicity is out. She's... The Windswept Falls expansion passes out, so you should be able to meet Felicity right now if you have it. Why am I having such a hard time with that? Okay, I'm gonna try with this one. And like, I'm using the Giant Leak. I'm using the giant cabbage. It should work. If it if this doesn't work. Okay, that worked. All right. All right, that's done. Uh, next, um, sweet, sour, and spicy main dish. So I'm not sure which one that is. The makers drove me crazy. crazy. <laughs> Thank goodness I can remove some. Yeah, that's good. Can we buy the expansion pass now? Yeah, you can. You could buy the. Yeah, you can buy it. It's been out for quite a while now. I haven't played in a month or so, but now I want to. Yeah, she's. Um, Windsor Falls came out on June 27th, so yeah, you can meet Felicity now. Not expansions yet, but the game didn't update. Hmm. So what's your version of the game? So the last version is 1.0.4. So I forgot which one it is. Okay, let me see. So it's... Oops. Sweet, spicy... Sweet, sour, spicy. Main, sweet, sour, spicy. Spicy. Mm. See. Yeah. How how did I forget that chili pepper? Hopefully, I'm not missing. Okay. Okay. The other one is this one. 
So this one shouldn't be too hard, right? Oh gosh, my zucchini is not really good. <laughs> my corn is not good. My gosh, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to finish Lovett's request today. Last I looked, it said not able to buy yet. I'm not sure if you're doing something wrong. I'm not sure. When will the 1.0.5 update be out? I'm not... No, no one knows for now. Thank you so much for playing this game. You're welcome. Um, okay, so... Okay, so I need to get better corn. So I'm gonna put my corn in my seed maker. I need to get better zucchinis. Yeah, I still have so much work to do. And I need to get chili peppers. So that's that's the biggest problem. I need to get chili peppers. That's so basic, but... I seems like I <laughs> run out of chili pepper. I can't get Windsor Falls expansion when I tried said not available for purchase. You need to get you need to get the whole ex you cannot get just Windswept Falls. You need to buy the expen the whole expansion pass. You cannot just get Windswept Falls. I'm pretty sure. Hoping this update will include the ability to rotate the furniture. Yeah, unfortunately it doesn't. Uh, we're not able to rotate the furniture in 1.0.5. Did you end up getting the rainbow quality? Not yet. I'm trying to do the other dishes now. I kind of give up on this one. Um, at least for now. So now what I'm gonna do... I need to get better corn. Yeah. Uh, okay, let me see if I can buy chili pepper. Yeah, this is taking <laughs> so much longer than I thought. I really thought we could finish the quest today. All right, let's see. Hopefully, oh, no, not today. Send you some luck. Hope you can make a rainbow dish soon. Yeah, I hope so. Okay, I'm gonna sleep. I'm just gonna sleep and come back to the sprite shop until until I can get some chili pepper. Now I'm getting lag. Oh no. I hope there's not too much lag. It's been it's it shows up as everything's fine on my end. But yeah, hopefully there's not too much lag. Okay, like this and then let's make some good corn seeds. And uh, okay, I'm going to put like Just gonna put a few things away. Gonna put these in my fridge. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna wait tomorrow. I'm gonna have some corn seeds, then I'm gonna plant my corn. I want to plant more uh, Napa cabbage because I want to get good cabbage for. I want to get more golden cabbage actually. Golden Napa cabbage. To hopefully, um, yeah, for my kimchi. All right, so let's go to sleep. Hi, Josh. Hi, chat. Hi, Liz. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, the big ponds just refill. Oh, speaking of big ponds, I need to check my ancient lake uh, before it refills. Let me check that. Yeah, I wish you could rotate buildings, but that's not possible, unfortunately. Oh no, I mean, uh, I always do this. I missed my... 
like there's one day I was checking this every day to get the treasure and like one day I forgot and that's the day that the treasure was there now it started filling back up again so I completely missed my chance I wish the chest would be there like until you pick it up but yeah that's too bad that's okay so yeah I'm just gonna sleep It will refill if you don't get the treasure. Yeah, so you really do have... You just have one day to get the treasure. And then it's too late. That keeps happening to me with the enchant link. Yeah, like with the other ones on your farm, it's quite... Like you, you see them as you go through your farm. But this one, if you don't think about it... And like it's the only one that gives you the shining object. So yeah, that's too bad. That always happens to me too. Yeah... Don't you literally have all those treasures if you don't ever... You don't ever have to go there again, if so. Um, Yeah, I think I'm missing one treasure from the shining bags, shining objects. Uh, how should we name our new chicken? What would you say has been your all-time favorite harvest moon? Um, I would say... Harvest Moon 64 was my first one, so I kind of have a special attachment to it. But objectively, it's not the best one. Um, I would say probably Magical Melody. Usually, that's what I answer to this question. Because I really like how the... F like, in Magical Melody, you have a lot of freedom. I like how you can move your house. And, like, you could really customize your house quite a bit. Like, you can move furniture more than what you can do in Olive Town, actually. And, like... If you if you wanted to have your house on the beach, you could. If you wanted to have your house on the mountain, you could. And like I think some soil was more fertile than other. I'm not too sure. And also you had like a pig that could find mushrooms. Yeah. Magical melody was really good. And I liked all the magical notes to find. They were kind of like achievements. Yeah, I wanna play I wanna go back to magical melody. Um, okay, how should we name? Okay, someone said peanut. Uh, someone said blueberry nugget, peanut, Sylvie. Foofy, foofy, foofy. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means, but that sounds pretty cute. So let's go for that. Magical Melody, DS or 3DS? Ah, GameCube. <laughs> Yeah, it's on the GameCube. There, It's also on the Wii, but I've heard that the Wii version is not as good. So I would recommend if you can play the GameCube version. Yeah, at one point, I, wanted, I, want, I really want to go back to Magical Melody and do Magical Melody streams. I think that would be pretty fun. Um, okay, let's check on our peaches. I have my GameCube still, thank goodness. Oh, I'm so... I'm so envious. <laughs> we have another glitch screenshot. Um, yeah, I wish I still had my GameCube too. That's one of my <laughs> biggest regrets. Not my biggest regret, but... Something I really regret is selling my GameCube. Yeah, so my fruits are not quite ready yet, but I'm still gonna sell the seedlings that are ready. They have a preference on which entry in the series you would like to see get a remaster if they continued making them. Yeah, I would love to see a remaster of A Wonderful Life. Um, I really enjoyed it, and I think with a bit more content and like with like enhanced graphics and everything, it would be pretty, pretty good. Pretty amazing game, and... Yeah, I would really like to see a remake of that. Go buy one, they should be cheap. Yeah, I should do that. Maybe I could buy a Wii. Though, because the Wii can play GameCube games, right? So I might be better off buying a Wii. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm going to have to do that. But 
then again, there's so many games I have to play. Like, I have so many games on the Switch I have to play on the PS4, PS3. Like, I have so such a huge backlog. So I feel like before buying another console, I should finish finish what I have. Yeah, so a lot of people are talking about True of Dance. I want to I'm going to have to play that eventually. Okay, so I'm going to sell my stuff. That's pretty good. Now I'm probably. Yeah, I probably can sell those soups. I don't need these. Don't need that. Okay, I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna sleep and wait until my seeds are ready. I want to play Drop Down so bad, but I don't have the 3DS and they are really expensive. Are they expensive now? I don't know. Yeah, I'm glad I kept my 3DS. All right, so all right, so I should have my seeds. I'm gonna plant my seeds. Oh yeah, I need to. I I forgot to check the sprite village. I need to buy pepper, chili pepper. Hi guys, just getting off work. What did I miss? Um, so we're trying to finish all of Lovett's requests today, and I'm missing a few ingredients. I kind of messed up a little bit. Because I completely forgot the chili pepper, but yeah. So that's kind of what we're doing today. So it's kind of really repetitive, <laughs> just trying to get 10 star crops and things like that. All right, so I have six star seeds, so I, I'm going to get 10 star corn and then hopefully more golden napa cabbage and i need to get 10 star zucchinis too so i'm gonna pick these up i'm gonna put these in the seed maker 3ds are now 200 plus oh my gosh that's a that's the same price as like a brand new one right a wonderful life is one of my faves my only fear is that they would mess up either the art style or some of the characters backstories well, I think if they do a remake, it's going to be the same dialogues, right? So I don't think there's too much to worry about the characters. But yeah, the art style, I don't know, like... Yeah, I don't know if they would keep the same art style or try to go for something different. That's something That's something they could mess up, actually. Wait, I have 10 stars. I don't need to make more zucchinis. I just noticed that. Okay, they're already 10 stars, so I don't need to make more zucchinis. Yeah, I don't need to make more zucchinis. So that's 10 star. That's 10 star. Okay, let me put all of that in my fridge. Oh, I have also this. Okay. Set up your box so we can send you stuff. Yeah, I was thinking about that, but yeah, I need to. That could be a good idea. I'm not even sure. I have to look. I, I don't even know like how that works. <laughs> how to set up a PO box? I'm sure that's not. I'm sure that's not something too complicated, right? But uh, yeah, if I do, I'll make sure to let you guys know about that. Nintendo Direct soon. I hope we get news about Rune Factory. Yeah, hopefully we can get some date, some release date. 
Hi, it's the first time being in one of your live stream. Hi, gaming with the queen. Hope you're doing well. I'm glad you're able to make it to this stream. So I th think we're gonna get another. <laughs> we're getting so many new animals today because we're just kind of skipping through days very quickly to get my crops to grow. So we're gonna have other animals today. Oh no, we're just festival. Just a festival announcement. But we should be still getting new animals quite soon. I think tomorrow. Alright. Okay, let me plant some more corn. Actually, I don't need to plant that much more. But If I can get one mosaic corn, that'll be... That would be helpful. Like if I can, if I can get a ten-star mosaic corn, that would help me for my recipe. I hope they bring back the cow chicken crop festivals. Yeah, I don't, I don't think they're. I really don't think they're gonna add more content or features to the game. So I don't think they will add more festivals. But I agree, it would be pretty nice to have more festivals. That's one thing I'm really enjoying with Ruin Factory Five so far. Um. It's really all the different festivals are there's are so many festivals in Run Factory 5 and they all like they're all kind of mini games so they're all like interactive and a lot of fun so yeah What am easiest way to get money quickly that would be to sell peach seedlings so you need to grow peach so I use my uh, summer garden and then you get if um, when you reach level 6 of our charting, you're gonna get the seedling maker and then you just level up your peach trees to level 10 so you have to make seedlings and then you grow them over and over again and once you reach level 10 uh, seedlings you're gonna get lots of golden peaches then you can convert your peaches into seedlings and then you just sell the seedlings so that's how I make about 255k per day uh... Anyone knows when the US gets the update on the makers? Unfortunately, we don't know yet. Wooloo. I think we already have a Wooloo. Uh, Fluffy. Okay, okay, we're gonna go with Fluffy. <laughs> and then we're gonna have another animal to name right after. Did the 1.0.5 make your gameplay more enjoyable? Definitely, it makes such a big difference. Um, like earlier I was able to craft so many fishing nets to bring my fishing skill to level 10 and earlier like before that I, I was always struggling so much to make fishing nets because you need so much lumber and stuff but now it's so easy to get lumber I also like to make giant like there's so many giant makers that you need like 100 per 100 lumber like a lot of materials but it's just so much easier to make everything now and like I don't have to check on my makers every day I can just go like once every like two days and I'm gonna have so much stuff and yeah it's a lot better with the update. Miley's names are always taken. <laughs> yeah I'm just taking I'm trying to go through this a bit quickly now. Tiramusu oh yeah that that one that one's a really good that one's a really good one. Let's go for that. To whoever I think it was someone in the previous stream or something that suggested that so <laughs> let's go with that. That's a pretty good one. All right, so let's continue. Yeah, I don't remember who whose idea it was. Okay. All right, so basically what we need to do now Okay, I'm just I'm you know what I'm gonna try one more time uh, Okay, let me check. Let me check the sprite bit. Actually. I always forget to do that. Uh, let me see if I can buy chili pepper I was supposed to check that every day and I completely forgot Start with this guy. Ah, no, oh, wait, 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 wait. 
<laughs> no chili pepper today. Maybe the field sprite sometimes. Nope. No luck for that today. How goes your stream? Just got home from work. Hi, hope your work was good. Yeah, stream is going well, but <laughs> we didn't make as much progress as I as, uh, as I expected, as I thought. Because I messed up and I didn't know I needed corn and chili pepper. And yeah, I, I just have six star corn. I, do, I don't have any chili pepper, so I need to do that. All right, so let's sleep. I'm late, but hi, King. <laughs> I love you. Hi, Sean. Hope you're well. Thanks for joining. So let's sleep. It wasn't too bad. We finished another recipe and got to fishing level 10. Yeah, true. But in, in three hours, <laughs> I wish we could have done a little bit more in three hours. But yeah, it's true. You have to see it on the, the good side, right? Finally got fishing level 10. And we finished one more recipe. And you know what? I'm going to try... I'm going to try the Tom Yam Pla one more time. Like I took a little break from trying, so maybe maybe I'm going to be luckier now. So let's try this. How do you manage your sprites? I'm not a beginner, but I don't know. I have a whole video on sprites. There's a lot to say, so if you have any specific questions, uh, I'd be happy to answer. But yeah, basically, if you talk to them every three days, they're going to accumulate stuff for three days. Um, so the most important thing, just at least go and talk to them every three days. Um, did you unlock the other person? Yeah, so you unlock Matsuyuki after you marry uh, Yuri. Like right after, right the next day he's gonna be there. Maybe even the same day, I'm not sure. Join this part is horrible. I feel like I'll be at level 8 forever. Yeah, it takes a long, long time. Hello, Josh. Congrats on your one year on YouTube. Thank you. Yeah, that was a crazy year, but... Yeah, <laughs> that was a pretty good year, though. Thank you so much. Oh, yes. Yay, we made it. Yay, yay, yay. That's good. All right. Finally, another recipe. I'm glad we were able to do that today. That's good. So, all right, let's give that love it that's pretty good I was really not expecting this um, I, th <laughs> I don't know why I just felt not very lucky but I'm glad we got it that's good that's done who knows we might be able to finish we might be able to do another one I think if you guys were not here if <laughs> I think if I was not streaming, I would probably have given up on this. Maybe not. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe that's the kind of grinding kind of things I would have done. Maybe like while watching a movie or something. But yeah, that took a long time. All right. So we need the kimchi. And um, we need the sweet, sour, spicy uh, thing, which I'm not sure of the name, but... Yeah, I need to, I'm going to have to wait for my corn to be ready. And I'm going to need to find pepper. I need to find chili pepper for my kimchi. I'm just going to check the supermarket. No, uh, no, I know they're not going to sell it at the supermarket because it's not in season. You beat the game now. You're done. Congrats. Time for... I didn't beat... I, I still have a few recipes left, unfortunately. But that was definitely the hardest recipe. So that's good. But... Yeah, still a few recipes left to make. Okay, I'm just gonna... So, I think I'm just gonna sleep like three or four days in a row. And... Just for everything to grow, right? Can you show me what you need to craft the giant butter and yogurt maker? Yeah, sure. So, the giant butter... So for butter, you need um, 
I always forget how is is it the tough wood, a sturdy wood? I I forgot the English name of this wood, uh, but this one, the yellowish one, and then the giant milk tank. You need ten, and then the cow topiary. So that's butter, and the other one is yogurt. Yogurt. So. Uh, same thing actually same thing is actually cheese butter yogurt same thing I didn't sell anything today yeah so we're just gonna skip a few days until my corn is ready I don't know how much days it take for the corn. I think six. Is it six days for the corn? But yeah, let's sleep. Yeah, and I think love it for the last request. Like he gives you, um, you get the big, you get the giant makers for all the dairy products. So I'm gonna replace the ones I have. I was only using the small ones. So I'm gonna replace these. Oh, I should have checked. Oh, I forgot. I, I still need the chili pepper, right? Okay, let me... Yeah, there's no point in getting the corn if I don't have the chili pepper yet. Okay, let me check the Sprite Village. We're almost gonna... Get, we're almost gonna get to f year five today. All right, let's check the Sprite Village. Subdued great content and guides. I'm so amped for 1.0.5 in the West. Feels like it's taking them forever. Yeah, I know it is taking a while, hopefully. Maybe sometime next week or yeah, hopefully there's not too much longer to wait. But thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying the content. Oh, my bag is full. Okay, let's just get rid of all of that. I don't need that. Yeah, no chili pepper. Oops. I'm in summer year three and I give myself the mission of 10 starring all the produce seedling flowers, gems and honeys. It's very time consuming. Yeah, it is time consuming. I started to like really try to get 10 star stuff quite late. Um, yeah, I should have tried a little bit earlier. And I should have kept more. <laughs> I should have kept more produce. I feel like most of the time, like I only kept a few, but like the chili pepper you need it for so many different recipes. And now I'm, I ran out and you know what? I might, you know what? I might have chili peppers somewhere. Let me, let me just check something. Cause I have a chest, uh, near my seasoning maker. Um, I might have put some pepper there at one point to make spice. So let me just see, maybe it might be there. I might have some extra. Yeah, I, re I really don't think so. But I mean, can you imagine if I had some there? Yeah, no, I don't have. Yeah, if I had seeds or... Yeah, I don't care. Also, I'm gonna have to... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to move a few things around. Because I'm not sure how I'm gonna fit my big makers. But I'm gonna put that here. Yeah, you know, okay, I'm gonna sell this. That's why you gotta hoard stuff. I know. I thought I was hoarding enough. Like, I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't know the recipes would get that hard. I think the animals are the hardest because you can only breed them one at a time over days. Yeah. 
It does take a while, but yeah, you just gotta make sure you don't forget to breed them. Sometimes I go like a few weeks forgetting. Um, okay, let's see if there's, let's see if the corn is ready. Oh, so we got, okay, so we should be good. We've been pretty lucky with the cabbage, with the Napa cabbage. So that's going to be good for the kimchi. So now we just need corn and pepper. So I don't think we're going to be able to make the recipe with the pepper today. Um, unless they sell like a 10 star pepper, but I'm probably going to have to buy like one three star pepper and then like grow it and like it's gonna, probably gonna take a while um but yeah i'm gonna sleep a few days to get the corn i'm gonna do the recipe with the corn and then i'm just gonna miss one recipe and i'm gonna do it eventually uh but yeah unfortunately it's not gonna be very <laughs> it's not gonna be very climactic i was hoping to get that done today but yeah let's see maybe, maybe if we if they sell 10 star chili seed i think we can do it today okay let, let's check the sprain village i just built a bunch of barns to make it a bit faster yeah definitely you can if you if you have a lot of empty space on your farm you can definitely have lots of barns and then you, if you want you can breed up to 10 animals at a time so that definitely makes things a little bit faster yeah or at least like one animal one barn per type of animal um, that would make things a bit faster. Alright, let's try. Nope, not today. Maybe the field sprite. That is so, <laughs> so silly. I really should have bought it in autumn. I knew, I, I knew when I, <laughs> when I slept on the 28th of autumn, I felt like there was something wrong. Like, like I should have stayed in autumn. I should have done something more in my day. Yeah. But it's okay. I gotta go. Bye, Josh and everyone. Hope everyone has a great day. See you next time. Hi, little snake hips. Bye bye. See you next time. Okay, I think my corn must be ready now, right? I think. Hopefully, we can get some mosaic. Mosaic corn. Let's see. Yeah, okay. So we're not getting the mosaic corn, but we have at least 10 star. And I think tomorrow we're gonna get more. So we might be a little bit lucky. But yeah, I think. Anyway, I got all pretty good ingredients. So I think it should be good. So I don't even know. Maybe that recipe doesn't even need a uh, rainbow. I'm not sure. So let's try. Just gonna save. So let's do this. Topping. Yay, that was super easy. That was amazing. Okay, all right, so that's done. That's all good. Oh, and I made five, five of them.
Another one. Yes. So we're just missing the chili pepper. That's so... <laughs> that's like the most simple... That's like so simple, but... Yeah. So that's good. So we just need kimchi. We're just missing kimchi. Uh... Okay, let's check the sprite shop. Let's see if they're if they're selling the seeds now. Unfortunately, I can't I can't continue the stream for too too much longer because I need to prepare a video. Like I I didn't upload too much too many videos in the last days. Like this weekend, I just uploaded one or like I think it was Sunday night or Monday morning, and then yesterday I didn't upload anything. So I need to upload a video today. And yeah, I need to eat dinner and all of that stuff. So yeah, but if if they are selling the seeds now, I'm gonna buy the seeds and grow them. Hi Josh, I love your content and streams. Keep up the good work. What is the best way to make money in this game? You would say hi, Catherine. Thank you so much. I'm glad you're enjoying the content. I'm gonna show you how I make money. Uh, okay, I just need to buy chili pepper. Let me just see. Hopefully. No. Yeah, just red bell pepper. How come winter is not white? Yeah, unfortunately winter is not <laughs> not very snowy in this game. So to make money, so I use this seasonal uh, gardens. And I'm growing these peaches. And um, you need to upgrade them to 10 stars. So make sure you have 10 star seedlings. And once you have 10 star seedlings, you're going to get um, lots of golden peaches. And with the golden peaches, uh, with two golden peaches, you can make 18 seedlings. And each each one of them, you're going to sell for like uh, 2,000. So... Yeah, basically with that, usually every 10 days, because your peaches are going to grow every 9 days, right? But usually every 9 days, then I make about like 2 million 500 or something like that. So, yeah. So you can do that with the peaches. So the peaches are the most valuable uh, seedlings, but you can also do that with the apples. So apples also give you golden apples and the avocados. You can also get giant avocados. So that's the best way to make uh, money. So you need to reach at least at least level six of our charting before you can get the seedling makers. But yeah. So I'm gonna show you how much money I can make today. I have a whole video on this technique, but it's pretty straightforward, but yeah. But yeah, that pays quite well. It's always a little bit different. Sometimes I'm gonna get more golden peaches than other times, but yeah. Leaks are very good too if you aren't that far. Yeah, if, you, if you're not that far yet, um, uh, definitely grow leeks. They're the most valuable. Like in terms of crops, like the actual crops, they're the most valuable crops. Um, so they're the best investment for that. You can buy them in winter, but if you have the winter garden, you can grow them all year round in your winter garden. So that's, that's a pretty good way to make money as well. I have to go have a good rest of the stream. Thank you so much. What year are you on? I'm on year four, so halfway through winter, so almost year five. Leaks over watermelon. Yeah, watermelon are pretty good, but leaks leaks make more profit. I have a table. I'm not sure. I I don't know the exact number, like right at the top of my head. Um, but yes, you make more profits with leaks than with watermelons overall. Um, yeah. The only thing to keep in mind is that leaks. You're gonna have to harvest leeks every four days, so there's a, there are a lot more work than watermelon, because watermelon it's like nine days to grow. So yeah, 
Watermelon take less work, but a little bit less money. Are there a giant watermelon? No, there's no... So that's the thing, there's no giant watermelons. Whereas leeks, you get a chance of getting the giant leeks, which are even more valuable once you have like 10 star leeks. Yeah, mushrooms are pretty good too. Like with the matchtake, with the like the last mushroom you unlock, um, you can make maybe about two hundred thousand or so every four days. So that's pretty good too. I'm still pretty early compared to you. I thought honey was the way to go. Honey is pretty good too, but. Like, I mean, as soon as you unlock honey, I would go for honey. Honey and mushrooms are good early. Early game. So I'm gonna sell all of my seedlings. I didn't... I sold them a few days ago, so like, I, didn't ha I don't have that much today. Um, but still, I, I'm still gonna make pretty good money. So see 400 so that's 400,000 that's what I make maybe in two days approximately 549 so yeah that's not too too bad um so yeah so that think yeah I'm just gonna check one more day see if we can get the chili pepper seeds from the sprite shop and if not that's gonna be it for today how come your makers can put a lot of the time? So I'm playing on the Japanese version of the game, which I got the 1.0.5 update, which allows you to put up to 10 things at a time, like 10 times more. Uh, so yeah, this there's no release date for that update yet for the North American version of the game, but hopefully that should come soon. I would also suggest leveling up your mining early too, so you can get access to a recalcum. Yeah, definitely do that. Um, once you reach level nine of mining, you're gonna unlock a mining map, which is gonna make it a lot easier to get a recalcum. Honestly though, I don't find myself doing anything with the money I earn. Yeah, same. Like sometimes it's useful. <laughs> like sometimes I need to buy a recalcum or something, but yeah, most of the time like, I'm just piling up my money just for fun. So hopefully we can get chili pepper seeds today. If not, that's gonna be not a failure. Like we still made <laughs> we still made some good progress today, but it's too bad that we're just gonna be missing one recipe. Like so close. Yeah, so close, but oh wait, we still have the fi we still have one chance of getting chili pepper yeah no all right guys so we're just missing that well all right that's gonna be it for today guys i think i'm gonna have to go eat dinner it's like 9 30 and i'm hungry so yeah <laughs> hopefully soon i'm gonna be able to finish all of lovett's requests so i think next wednesday i'm probably gonna put a poll and ask you guys what should we play next Wednesday. Since we don't have a lot to do in Olive Town now, I don't think we're gonna play at Olive Town next Wednesday. Maybe maybe we will. I will ask you guys so you can vote. Um, so maybe it's gonna be Olive Town, maybe Doraemon Story of Seasons, maybe Stardew Valley, maybe my time at Porsche. I don't know. So I'm gonna ask you and uh, hopefully you're gonna help me make a choice. But yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it guys. So thank you so much. If uh, you're new make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out the next stream next stream should be on Sunday which is Sunday and that's not what I <laughs> that's not what I wanted to say um, yeah also uh, there's a discord the link is in the description so feel free to feel free to join the discord if you're interested 
Uh, if you want to join a fun community and chat about Story of Seasons and other similar games, so feel free to do that. And yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for today, guys. So thank you so much and see you next time. Bye bye. I'm in fifth year and no, I have not maxed out all Resident's Heart uh, yet. I feel like that's one thing with Olive Town. I feel like there's no rewards for maxing out your relationships with the villagers. But yeah, anyway. Okay. Okay. Bye bye.